Hello everybody. How are you doing today? Welcome. Welcome all. Ah, oh, yeah, some of you saw I was um I'm not maybe all myself today. Well, I don't know, maybe I am. Sometimes you can't tell. Sometimes you can't tell. But I was on the fence about streaming today. Just sort of I'm just under rested, but feeling a little overwhelmed by by nothing. By nothing. By regular stuff. Feeling a little not coping so well. Brain doesn't quite want to process everything. You know, I might might have skipped this stream and just rested. Would that have been smarter? I don't know. I decided I'd rather be here tired and wonky with all of you than sitting here in the quiet staring at a screen for the rest of the night without you. Without you, that wouldn't be fun. Much rather, much rather share my, um, my stupor with all of you. I'm really enjoying this game gonna take it easy today I, I don't know what's gonna happen in the game I don't have any particular objectives I've had a couple uh, I've had a couple short dreams that this game has worked its way into already what's pretty that? cool hey Rummy Rummy from work how are ya cheers had um, at least one one bit of a dream I can remember I think I mentioned it already where I was fighting one of those Giant creatures, maybe it was the Hydra and getting tossed about and thrown off. Um, oh, I wouldn't be, I don't think I'd be playing any games, Bob. That When I said staring at a screen, I'd probably have been staring at the chat boxes or um, I wouldn't have. Probably would have just taken the day. There's a lot of back end stuff for the stream I want to do, stuff for the bot. I feel like I'm behind on a lot of little things and behind on highlights and uh, bot work and plans for the stream and the schedule and the votes I wanted to get and then other stuff work related life related signing up for new health insurance and just just things just things and uh so I probably not not all recovered from the 24 hour stream and I haven't gotten full night's sleep uh so, you know they're underpowered Jay's a little underpowered today it's gonna happen sometimes uh, I've been feeling it the past few nights. I just, I knew from this morning. I couldn't type out full sentences this morning. It's just a mess. King Bob! How are you, man? Yeah, I probably wouldn't play another game if I were off stream right now. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Doc? How are you doing, Doc Henson? Denza, what's going on? But this game has continued to grow on me. I like it quite a bit. Hmm, what's that? Suki is a is a pretty good healer. We found Suki yesterday. We've got a properly leveled healer, and she happens to be another delightful pocket rocket, if you'll excuse the term. But she's just awesome. Throws out some wicked fire spells. She's managed to keep up with the group so far, which is a lot better than I can say for Ramona. And, uh, you know, I, I still miss Zersha. Zersha was awesome. But uh, Suki's going to do a great job, at least for a little while. If you weren't here at the end of the stream yesterday, we had a pretty massive extended fight. We came in through... Uh, we came in through some entrance. We fought our way up here. There were ballistas. We were being shot at by ballistas up at two positions here. They were just unending. We had a couple... Um, Cyclops, at least one of them wearing heavy armor, was down here. Two of them down here, one of them with heavy armor. And it was a mess. It was a mess. I mean, we came in up here, had to jump across, work our way down and out. Uh, clear part of the battlefield while under fire from the ballistas. Eventually found that there was a busted lever for the gate up here. And we had to find the lever, fix the lever, open the gate, and then the troops come pouring in. And right when the troops come pouring in, so do a bunch more uh, goblins and creatures. And we had a big brawl down here. It was awesome. It, very cool fight. Stream was getting a little little laggy. Well, that was too bad. I'm definitely going to end early tonight for one or more reasons. I don't think I have um, the juice to really go as late as I might. Normally, which is not late, which is 9 o'clock my time, but I think a shorter 
two, three, four hour stream would be better. I don't want to even think about internet troubles. So it's the last thing I want on my brain today is a stream that's struggling to work. So if that if that shows up at some point, we'll just we'll, we'll call it early. Anyways, I don't really know what we're doing here. What are we doing here? I think we we earned uh, an audience with the Duke. Magnificent, sir. The hold is ours once more. The hold is ours. I sent word of your feats onto the capital. The Duke would be most pleased. As are we all. Pray, accept this token of our thanks in esteem or reason. Still, their number was too great. No such horde existed in days past. I fear it an ill omen of things to come. Pray, let it not be too late to stem this tide. All right. Very heavy. I'm carrying too much crap. We have to go drop stuff off. It was really affecting me, too, in battle. I would run out of stamina more quickly, and I already run out of stamina quickly. Hey, Josh. What's going on? Not much. Not much is up yet. So, back here real quick. What do I have? I have... I thought I actually looted the second one, and I'm, no, I'm not sure I did. But I have these port crystals. Or I have a port crystal, so I can drop a portable... Seems it can't be used now. Of course I can't. Uh, a portable warp stone so that I can jump around and come back. If I wanted to get back to this spot, after going to sell all my gear... And if anyone sees Altamore, we got we got to let Altamore know his uh, his first round of gifts. They did come through. They finally came through. Like twenty minutes after he took off, they showed up. That. Francis. So I guess there's already one here. That's perfect. There's already one here. Then let's jump back to Grand Soren. Put some stuff in the inn. Come back. Proceed. Hey, Hot Wheels, it's been a little while. It's good to see you. It is a port crystal, Master. I hope you're doing well, man. I'm doing pretty well. Feeling a little weird today, but we've all got days where we feel a little weird, right? What's this? To be honest. This type of game is perfect for a day where you just feel weird. You don't... If I'm just... If I zone off and start staring at some random NPC... You know, that that, that works in an open-world-style role-playing game. I mean, you can just sit there and soak it in. It's not quite Witcher, but... <laughs> Dens has got a few days where he feels not weird. Hmm. Yeah, the the energy level. I don't think this is gonna come out right, but we'll try anyways. The uh, energy level that it takes to stream, but more than that, the energy level that it takes to feel and maintain a connection to chat game I told you it wasn't going to come out right no it doesn't feel the same the every night the capital with a hydra's head and tall given but i fear great you seem to have your pick any you like what will it be today i actually feel pretty good right now so, so i feel like i'm in the right place right now. The right place to feel a little weird. I think I'm in the right place. Cheers. Let's drop off a bunch of crap. Stamina. Yes. Green Warish is heals. I should just buy more potent Green Warish. The potent Green Warish didn't even seem to be that much more potent. A shower of coffee always helps you get energy. I, I'm not sure it does for me. It's more... 
I can, if I'm really tired, I can drink coffee and then go right to sleep. Coffee will not necessarily keep me awake. The smell of coffee, thinking about coffee, drinking coffee, warm, all of it, it, uh, it, it adds up to some alertness for me, but it does not actually instill me with energy. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Hug right back. Throat drops. Restores speech to one's lips. That item. Quite a few days on stream when I feel like I need that. Thick grease from the fatty tissue of a wild beast carcass. Down it to recover a fair amount of stamina. Well, I don't want these one stacks. I want to carry big stacks of useful things and then... I don't know. I'll I'll let all of the rest of this accumulate in the storage, and maybe at some point message we'll coming stacks in. of other things. Patching it through. Good lord, good lord, Rage Mage. What an awesome host. Welcome, Rage Nation. Probably haven't. Uh, everybody's probably getting ads and things right now. That is awesome, Rage Mage. Excellent. Great to see you. Thank you so much for the host, buddy. I'll wait till we see a few people uh, maybe pop in. Hot Wheels, you're well. I am glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. Good. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard the Starship Chaos. Please keep your seatbelt fastened. At least while the ship is in motion. Put it all away. I don't even want to look at what it is. I don't even want to look at what it is right now. Purifying brew. Bring bout. Drive off the urge to sleep. That's what uh, that's what some of us need sometimes. And the most. Look at this. As Kim said yesterday, it's an oxymoron. Sobering wine. A sobering wine. But we're putting that away. Rage Nation! Hey, there's everybody. Welcome. Welcome, Rage Nation. Thank you, Rage Mage, for the host. How is everybody? Hi, Corbett. Creeps. Random British Gamer. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. Azure. Hey, random British Gamer. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the follow. Roach. The Iceman cometh. <laughs> What's up, Iceman? Did you make it home from work? It sounds like... How are you? We got a raid! Someone call Zeke. Someone call Zeke. How is Zeke doing? I still haven't, um, I still haven't popped in in quite a while. Tools. I'm gonna drop off some tools. Rock. Rock actually doesn't weigh much. Just arrows. Fancy arrows. I haven't tried using any fancy arrows or poisons or kindling to make torches or... No, no, still playing quite simply. Demon. Very apt. Say that. You did. Made it home. One piece. He seems to be fine. Saw some of his Witcher 3 streams. What happens with, uh, happened with Dragon's Dogma? I saw he was playing Dragon's Dogma, and either he... Temporarily or completely switched from that. The Obliteratrix. Grievous Horns. I got a staff. Great sword. Gundon might be able to use that, but I think he's got a steel greatsword. Riff Dog, hey, can I play GTA 5 again? Well, we definitely need to finish it. Um, it's almost, it's almost happened already, but kind of been waiting for a day that needs to be filled in to come back to GTA. But, 
since that hasn't really happened yet, maybe uh, maybe I'll just have to get it on the schedule all by itself. What will it be today? My brain's not working too well today. Got to tell you that, Rift Dog. So I don't really know what's happening with GTA, but uh, we've probably got 10 hours left in the story, and then start doing some online on whatever platform we start doing some online on. I have detected on. a signal embedded in the static. Oh, gee, Trevino. Hey, welcome aboard. Thank you for the follow. Call you OG? Do we call you Trevino? Or Trev? Why weren't you streaming this morning? Because, <laughs> uh... Because uh, I'm not scheduled to. Because I'm not scheduled to stream this morning. That's why. Like, Jundin probably has some things. Suki, do you have anything to drop off? Rules. Wait, she's carrying a fairy stone. Thank you, Kev. The last night was really quiet in the, in the Discord chat. It was funny. Since we set it up, what will it be today? since I set it up, and we've all been using it, and it's it's been awesome. But last night was probably the quietest night so far. Schedules are hugely important. They are why I'm on now. Uh, I didn't really feel like wrong way to put it. It's not that I didn't feel like streaming. It's that I didn't feel like me. I just didn't feel like me today. I was worried that if I if I came on to stream, I was going to be yawning and just not not connecting. That's what I was trying to describe so so poorly before. Um, I don't want to be here streaming and just not feel like I can look at the camera. But if I'm really out of it, I can't connect with you, and I can't read what's going on in chat. It wouldn't feel right. It really wouldn't feel right. So that, I was worried that that's, that's what was going to happen today. I've been so out of it today. But then I decided that fuck it. Not That's not really what I mean. Not fuck it. But if I'm going to be out of it, where where do I want to be out of it? Do I want to be out of it sitting here in my, my little streaming studio by myself? Or do I want to... Here with my friends. I don't mind being out of it around my friends, so. And I already feel good about it. I'm really glad I'm here now. RZD, how are you doing? When do I think I'll finish the main story? Um, mm, mm, Friday? Possibly. So, tomorrow. <laughs> no. Did those words just come out of my mouth? There's, um,. There's no way I am going to be able to finish this tomorrow. But right now, that's kind of what the schedule says. Um, I don't know. I've never played the game before. So I don't really know how much is left. We play three or four hours tonight. And if I uh, do a normal... Tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> Hell if I know. I'm going to bump Mad Max a little bit. Uh, Mad Max is going to get bumped at least into... At least until Sunday for a start. Maybe Tuesday... A good chance we'll just spend the next few days on Dragon's Dogma. Um, how am I doing on weight? Do there. Average? Why is she still at average weight? What is she carrying that's so damn heavy? I thought I just resolved that. I fear you seem to have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Uh, Madden. Sorry, I almost missed that question. I saw it and then spaced it. Do I play Madden? Rift Dog, I don't play Madden. I've never really played any sports games, to be honest. Um, ever. Well, I don't think I need to carry ten flasks of oil. Let's just pop some in the bank. Get a few pounds. Water? I'm not throwing water on anybody. Ever. So, what's the point? Rock, bank... Bank the rock. I have an eternal fairy stone. Um, why would you use a regular fairy stone if you have an eternal fairy stone? Does it have to do with where you can use it? I wonder. Feel free to answer that if you'd like to answer that sort of direct question. Doesn't really need an answer, but... What's up, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> Your office didn't know what was going on? You accidentally unmuted at the office, Rummy. Was that the first time? Have you not done that before? Never. 
Emma, what did I just store? Matter. Well, let's find out if it matters. Let's put quest items in the storage and see if that screws anything up. Great sword. That was part of it. We're going to pass that to Jundin. And what will it that's be about it. Have your pick. Come again soon. <laughs> I go check. Oh, hey, Bix. Okay. Give. Give to Jundin. Oh, Jundin's dead. Sorry, Jundin's he's dead. That's why I have a steel greatsword and all this shit in my inventory, because he's dead. Get him back. Who are you with your awesome backpack? <laughs> who's, who's this cute backpacking? For myself, Girl, Madeline. I to put down roots in a shop of my own. Oh. Many fled the dragon, never to return. Not a so pawn. Good land is both plentiful pawn. and cheap. It goes all right, Bix. I'm a little out of it today. But I think I'm getting better. I mean, I'm... Glad to be here. How about that? I'll we'll just put it like that. Who's of strength? I, I think I have stilettos. Maybe I should take the stilettos that I already have and try to upgrade them. I already have a sylvan bow. I should find out what I need to upgrade the sylvan bow one more and see if I have that in the bank. I think it was not like a wolf pelt, but some sort of Higher tier beast pelt, something. Ah, a circlet. The circlet's nice. That's right now. I've got a, a headband. The circlet's a, you know a little closer to the Wonder Woman. <clears throat> Chest guard. Nice. Covers one breast. That's perfect. <laughs> if you're gonna make a chest guard. Which, which breast do you want to save? The left one or the right one? <laughs> Alright, help me out, ladies. Does this make any sense? Chest guard. I'd like to protect the left one. We can skip the right one. What the fuck? Funny bone guards. Those are funny looking. Those are funny. Funny. Wait, what bangles do I have now? Those look more like bronze bangles. The ones I'm already wearing look like Wonder Woman bangles. I'm not actually trying to build Wonder Woman. That's just half of a thing which happened. Rose ring. Restless earring. You can only protect one. <laughs> Gotta have style. Thank you very much. For not buying anything? Now what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Someone roofie your drink. Oh man. Can, can you keep an eye on Madeline? I don't. I don't think Madeline's okay. Keep her. I think you need to. Uh, you need to watch over. She reflects Jay's inner desires. Where's the Pawns Guild? I need to go back to the Pawns Guild. Do the Rift Stone and get Jundin back. And who else? It was Jundin and Hey Wombat. Here's how are you, Wombat? I gone the right way. Gone the right way. Went the wrong way. Here? No, not here either. Um, I can do it in reverse. I can get from the Pawns Guild to the center of town. Why am I not able to... Do the reverse of that. Over here. It's over here. Pawns Guild's over this way. I'm slowly learning my way around town. Sir. 
So this is the pawn game. <laughs> yes, Suki, this is where you came from. Oh, this is the Pawn Guild. You were watching Nade get burned up? Uh, is he fighting the man on fire? Why was he getting burned up? Curious. So Jundin comes back automatically because he's the main pawn. Currently using a steel greatsword. We don't need to give him the other steel greatsword. However, we've lost... We bring somebody new. We've got a healer. We've got a warrior. I was bringing another warrior. Why don't we bring another healer? Why don't we try two healers today? What do you all think about two healers? How do I get the filter I want here? Change search conditions. Time for a bard. <laughs> well. Time for Xertia. I was thinking, Densa, I was thinking. first name I like is Hush. Hush is male, maid. Let's, uh, let's bring a bunch of these out. Let's bring them out by name, and then we'll meet them, and we'll pick their skills. So we're going to bring out Hush. Um, Roxanne, that's not Ramona's yesterday, right? Roxanne is someone else. Iceman is thinking Xertia, too. Do you think a level 9 can hang with us, though? You realize we're just about level 30. Should I really add a level 9? Uh... Is Zersha though? I mean, we are talking about Zersha. Ini, Tava, Maria, Ariel, Hush, Roxanne, Tava, Ariel, and um, Inkidu. Uh, let's meet them. We don't have to. These aren't who's coming along. This is just who we meet. We get to meet. So now we wait a second. Will start to appear. Hush and Roxanne, Ariel, Ava. Why is everyone putting their? It's like the, what, the queen's outfit or the princess outfit or whatever it is. Seems like half of the characters, the female mages in this game, are wearing the same outfit. Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. Shaka, when the walls fell. What's up, spider? How are you doing? And Kidu and Gilgamesh at Uruk. Well, let's meet him. Yes, Arisen. The voices they have here are generic. The voices they've been given by their creators don't seem to, to register until you're out of the rift. So I got burned on that with, a, with one character already. As poison resist, some sleep resist. Fire spells, lightning spells, a sigil, a defense sigil. Healing Sigil, Purging, Debuff Sigil. Hmm. Hey, Drewski. Great. Hmm. Rage Mage, if you're interested, I'd have to... I don't know if I could dig up the link right now. S7 shows up. Ask him to dig up the link. Unless anyone else has it, but S7 posted a link uh, a week or two ago to a very cool and and recent and long 
breakdown of that episode out of nowhere. I mean, it's an analysis of the use of language, and I don't, I don't want to try and pigeonhole the article, but um, keep an eye out for it. Faux knowledge, rude awakening. I don't know, Suki. Who do you like? What about this healer right here? She was already here. She just, she, she just picked lint off my shirt. That's a plus. What else do you have? Besides picking lint off my shirt. Resistances are pretty weak. Fire. I am assuming direct control. Up we are, woo. How are you, man? There are four lights! Hi, Ingle. She seems uh, like an offensive caster. She doesn't even seem to have um, heals, actually. This mage, she's not a sorcerer, she's a mage, but still, she does not seem to be much of a healer. Ava, hey. Hey, hey. Hush is not wearing any pants. Hush now, he's not wearing any pants. Hey, there, there's only room for a couple of us like that. We, we can't all not wear pants. Um, okay. Okay, fine. We'll make it work. Right, hush, no, hush is still there. Where are you, Zersha? Better keep an eye out. Zersha's Zersha is about to show up. In theory, here goes Hush. There she is. Hey, Sersha. Sersha. Yes, Arisen. Oh, what happened to her? Something has happened. My god. What is... Someone has messed with Zersha. <gasps> She's been leveled up! She looks totally different, though. She has bright green hair and multicolored eyes and... and gouty lipstick. But... Holy shit, she's been leveled up! How cool is that? That's what that that was the whole maybe if people were gonna play their characters then it's possible we could have a companion throughout the game keeps getting leveled up <sighs> How cool is that it is a little sad what they did to her, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and deal with that I'm very pleased that she exists and has been leveled Longer lasting whip of lightning that drops more bolts when dismissed. I am honored to travel. Can you explain how the pawn system works? <laughs> it's puberty. Oh my god. I can try. I can try. Um, you can have three companions in your party. One of them is a pawn that you create. That's your main pawn. And if they die. They go back to the rift, but they will always reappear when you go back to a rift stone. You you seem to be stuck with your main pawn. Hey, Cappuccino King. How goes? So you've got your main pawn. And my Jundan is pretty boring so far. When you want to fill the rest of your party with other pawns, they are wandering the world. You can go into the rift here and search for them. Regardless, the pawns that you hire are actually other players' main pawns. So somebody else has Zersha as their main pawn, where I've got Jundin. And somebody else has Loki as their main pawn. You can swap out those pawns at practically any time. So there's Jundin. You level up your main pawn. You do not level up other players' pawns. So your main character levels and you create them from scratch. 
your main pawn levels and you create them from scratch. But you hire, like hirelings in any other uh, Dungeons and Dragons style game, you hire other characters. In this case, they've been made by other players. Hey, there's Ramona. She's totally boring. I thought she was very cool, blue hair, but she doesn't like to keep up with the party and she really didn't help us very much. They have independent behaviors. You can adjust the behavior, at least of your main pawn, by having a sit down with them at the inn. Be more aggressive, be more supportive, play like this, but you don't actually micromanage them in combat. So I cannot tell my healers to heal me. The best I can do is say, help, and I might get a buff or I might get a heal. I can tell my uh, companions to go, and I don't really know how that works. Go where? Go where I pointed? Go where I'm looking? So the one of the very cool things about the pawn system that a lot of this I was just told, but I'm finally starting to see it and understand it. But one of the things that's so cool about the pawn system is as you encounter enemies, the individual pawns will gain knowledge about those enemies. So you fight enough goblins and the pawn will know what to do with goblins fire, lightning, etc. When that pawn returns to their owner, that pawn will have more knowledge that they gained while they were traveling with you. You can also send them back to their owner with gifts. So they will learn things about quests, they will learn things about maps, they will learn things about enemies, and then they will talk about that. So you'll be in combat, and they'll say... We should use fire here. They're weak to fire. Or they'll actually lead you to a destination. You'll set a quest. And if your companion happens to know where that quest target is, they'll sometimes run ahead of you. They'll lead you there. Which they won't do if they don't know that. So, it's all very cool. It's, it's been difficult for me to learn while live on stream and... Uh, feeling like we have a condensed period of time to get it done in. Do I actually have a turn in here? Not sure I've actually got a turn in. I'm, I'm enjoying it, Denson. Not just the game, but the companion system is very cool. It allows you to become attached to them, and yet they're supposed to be these emotionless, interdimensional, non-human beings. But of course we get attached to them. So you're supposed to swap them out as convenient or appropriate, but I, I'd rather grow attached to them and be sad when they die. And... <laughs> Do you get a pawn back with PTSD? I've seen some shit, man. <sighs> so the companions are better than Dragon Age, Drewski? In, in some ways, they're way better. In some ways, they're way better. The general banter is not as good. You're never going to get Alistair and Morgan giving each other shit in Dragon's Age. But, I mean, in... Um, Dogma, but... Report your victory. So we do need to go talk to Sir Maximilian. That's up near the castle. It should be up this way. All these workers going about their business. Who among you has seen the dragon? You would create a pawn called Yennefer. She would be a mage. I'll bet you there's a few. We could probably go search for the name Yennefer and watch a hundred mages pop up. Don't you think? And Rummy would make a warrior named Geralt. And would he be shirtless? Mine would be shirtless. I like the skills in combat in this game quite a bit. Be you the arisen, for true. Even if I'm stubborn about only using a few and, and not really branching out like I should. I tried one of the advanced classes, then I went back, and then I tried a different advanced class, and then I went back. I'm staying with my base class. I think if I can, I'm going to stay with it throughout the game. And yet it seems you lack a license. What do you mean lack a license? You won't talk to me because I put my worm hunting license in the bank? Is that what's going on? That's a strange work of the system. I dumped a little too much stuff in the bank. 
including apparently... I, I know I put three quest items in the bank, and I said, let's see if this messes anything up. Looks like it. Madeline just opened the door for me. That was cool. No surprise, given the fact you, you need a license from Elkos Combine. I fear great expectations often lead to great disappointment. Have your pick. Any you or will it be today? Worm hunt license. So I put that away, then he wouldn't talk to me anymore. Guess I'll pick up the other quest items while I'm at it. I may need these things very soon. I don't want to have to come back for them. What will it be? Have your pick. Come again soon. Thank you. Come again. Zersha looked way better before. She's very scary right now. Better remind myself that she's the same awesome character she was yesterday. Three times the level. Yeah. Well, when the Witcher, when Wild Hunt opened, and that first ah, scene with Yennefer, the opening, word of your victory over the Goblin Horde I swooned. But then when Triss made her appearance again, I swooned. With the fort back in our hands, the south of Grancis is shielded once more. You've quelled yet another of his grace's worries. May your success continue, sir. Greenwarish, is it? Maybe it's 0 0.2 per item. Maybe that's why I have so much weight, is because I'm carrying over a pound of poison cures and over a pound of weak herbs and. Drop some more of that off before we warp back. What quest is left on that? We were doing these. So what's the main quest? What are we doing right now? Well, we were doing these worm hunt quests, and it seems that we need to finish all of them, and we have one left. One left. Search the catacombs. That'll be next. Go we'll drop off some of these extra weight. Run around looting for an hour. We'll be nearly over encumbered again. It's very tiresome running out of breath. But no, no pun intended. Very tiring for me to watch her be so tired. All the What's going on here? Go. Hey, hey. best marker. Say no more, friend. I must confess, I had not expected the Arisen to share Salvation's creed. Though, truth be told, I am far from a devout myself. Not sure what he's talking about. Salvation cult. Who among you has seen the dragon? Who's... Hear ye, hear ye! Attend to all! The Arisen has appeared! Yeah, Rummy, I'd make a good sports announcer, wouldn't I? It's no very surprise, tiring to run out of breath. Given the fact you came to the capital with a Hydra's head in tow, I fear great. You seem to have your pick. Any you like. If you want to catch your breath? You're going to have to use your lungs. Today. and we'll keep the potent ones.
And there we go, that great sword. Keep forgetting she was carrying a great sword. What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again soon. Give and leave to travel. Here we can rest. Manage inventory and skills and so on. So Parked up here. Oh, the catacombs are up there. Hey, Sonny. Welcome. The city has for you today. To every need. Armorers, apothecaries. Let's check the map. That's your way of saying you don't know where we're going. Soren, the beating heart of all branches. Rummy, I missed it. Weren't you there for that? Uh, for my missing that? Weren't you there for the Hearts of Stone party? I think I was reading chat. I missed some prompts. Or maybe I... How did I screw that up? No, I didn't get the Shawnee hookup scene. I swooned over Shawnee. I did not get the Shawnee hookup scene. She also hated me. By all rights, she shouldn't have. If she remembered what happened in the first Witcher, she never wanted to speak to me again. After, uh, after we took Alvin, the source child, to Triss, that was it. Shani was done with us. He was just done. This way to the catacombs, Arisen. Notice how Zersha said, this way to the catacombs, and now she's going in front. She knows where we're going, and she's going to not wait. Shooting. So long as it flies above, there's little we can do at least. Almost an hour today before we got into any kind of combat. What's that? Oh shit! Look who's back! <laughs> Look who's back! Oh my god! What is it doing? It's jump it's pouncing! It was jumping repeatedly. Oh come on, I hope this thing doesn't doesn't leave on us. First we need to keep we need to keep our healers up. What are you doing? We get two healers now. Between these two healers. Being wing buffeted. I can't even stand up. I'm being knocked around by the wind from its wings. We got more bandits. That's great timing. Where'd 
where'd another bandit go? I hear him. Not all right, we've got... Steamrolled by a griffin. How long can you hold the bow? How long can you hold the bow? Hold it! Hold it! Daddy! Is it gone now? Gone. I know its health bar is still up, but it's gone. This seems to lead underground. Not a woman. Yes, your pawns will also loot things. They will break boxes, open chests, grab loot, search random items. What's this? Loot steal. Go for the thing you're going for and beat you to it. Get Zersha running. That's interesting, Wombat. And the interesting bit is the assumption that a woman that age with that much power would bother with the glamour. So why do you, why, what's the implication? Is the reason explicit? Is it implied? Would it have to do with Geralt? With her own personal vanity? to kill rabbits. Quest was to kill something like 40 or 50 rabbits. <laughs> oh, 
possibly just using charisma and looks as a way to influence and manipulate. So all practical. All practical. You believe that? The character of Jennifer, would, would she do that all for sake of being practical? I will protect you, Arisa. Try to strike at its tail, yeah. Oh, you've got one on you. That's no good. I'm working on the tail. Killer Kevin, what's up? They start acting like dragoons and jumping into the air. The path diverges. down into the catacombs. All right. We need some sort of a heal or any other preparation before we go back in. Maybe not. I think we've leveled substantially since the last time we were here. I don't remember what level it was, but... Mm, 
spaghetti garlic bread spaghetti with meatballs and garlic bread arm has felt really weird today i something it's like it's on the skin it, it hurts when they go like this it doesn't hurt if i go like that I feel like i don't see anything like an abrasion I actually save I think I did. Mean bones. Grocery store I go to lately has a um, it's pretty nice prepared what but uncooked this? meatballs. This looks interesting. We're good. You come to offer prayers for those who rest here in the catacombs. It is too Who's dark this? to navigate without a torch. I'll take that. Nope, you can't have it. Mine. <laughs> Hey. The crypt was fashioned ages ago, before the faith came to crisis. You need to open this gate to use the lift. Long ago, when the people worshipped the old gods, the gods of nature, we cannot pass through. Are my child labor pawns going through a rebellious phase? You're not my mom. Seems there's a room beyond. Do it yourself. You do it. Why don't you do it? I'm not going to open up all of the remaining sarcophagi. You say sarcophagi? All the sarcophaguses or sarcophagi, which is it, that are still closed. I'm going to leave them alone because it seems like you get cursed about half the time opening them. There's loot in them. Or bodies. But also curses. And then these are the blood sweeger bloaters. Watch them explode here. Three, two, one. They're basically the uh, rot fiend bloodzweigers of this series. I'm on my way. Keep the coffins closed. Level thirty leveled quite a bit since the last time we were here. We have triumphed. This door is held locked by some mechanism. This door is already the the door's open. The door's open, Zersha. Too bright. Fire works well. Lighting these lamps can be a boost. Strengthen numbers. We have triumph. I will search the area. Lighting these lamps. I hadn't thought to do that. That was the first time one of my companions mentioned lighting the lamps that I noticed. But that's the kind of good thing they'll tell you if they if they know what's going on. They'll tell you how to fight, where to go, point out things in the environment that this you need to use. Open the way to Salvation's meeting place. This must be something locked. A lever arisen. Now we can get down below. I've learned of this area. Oh, shit. Very lucky. Grab the ledge. You can grab ledges. Fortunately. Is Jundan always dying? 
in this game, yeah, the thing is, Jundan is usually very resilient. Why I made him a fighter in a advanced class as warrior. Not sure why he's so fragile here. Lever again to bring it down. A lever. A lever. What a weird discussion. I'm I'm not really in tune with this conversation going on right now, but I'm not sure I'd want to wait into this discussion. Oh, fuck it. Um, I'll wait in here for a second. But... Still these vermin come. No honest business brings a man to such a place. You know what's inside? Debilitated! I'll take that. Judge from the beast that dwell here. A place with some dark power. That I can't hit yet. Come on! Come on! Come on! How far do you have to go before your eye frames end? was sweet. It doesn't get the door open, but... Phantasms. I hate phantasms. I still haven't figured out how to properly kill phantasms. Is in against an unknown foe. What's up, Van? How are like how wisp-like the phantasms are. They really have no form. So many RPGs give wisp-like creatures too much form is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if that's, that's accurate, but if they're wisps, you should hardly see them. Right? And that's how they feel in this game. Where are they? Are they there? Are they there? Oh, they're kind of there. There's a slight concentration. Maybe they're there. Yeah, I am liking the game quite a bit. Man, I am. Very slow burn. It was hard for me to get into. There's so much to learn, and I haven't even learned most of it. But I've, I've learned enough to really enjoy it now. You love API error. It's your favorite game. Strength in numbers, Elizabeth. Having two healers is working so much better. I find myself getting, in fact, the whole party keeps getting healed to full instead of to half. I think that's because each one, maybe their their heal auras are stacking, but the likelihood of getting full heals out of two healers is 
it is reasonably doubled from what it was with one since I can't actually control them. Oh, down there. All right, so we need to get down here. Get over here. Get over here. We need to get into this section somehow. East. Let's go east and then either north and east or south and east. This. But first, we go east. Hardier than the last time came down into the catacombs. This room was a bit of a pain in the ass the first time. Mmm, glub 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 glub. Yeah, Wombat, I, I don't know if you saw I was debating whether or not to stream today. Uh, I'm really glad I did. Don't know how long I'll go. On top of that, I thought to myself, it would be pretty stupid to... Uh, you're feeling tired, Jay. Why would you have a beer? But you know what? Glub, glub, glub. Oh, a virtual drink? Well, that sucks. I'm having a real one. I thought she was going for a drink. I thought she was going for a drink. Only virtual drinks tonight, Wombat. That looked like blind attacking to you. All right, that looked like blind attacking. Shit! Please restore my health before this all falls apart. Two healers is so much better. I am loving having two healers here. <laughs> magic isn't real? Of course magic is real. What kind of a silly thing is that? Oh, I didn't mean it like that, Wombat. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm not, um... Not I wonder what's inside. wrapping up that early. Going an hour here. No, I'd like to go at least a, a couple hours and we'll see how I feel. I'm not going to push it to the schedule tonight. Two beers and a shot in the whole last year. Were they good? This I hope they were good. You know what's funny? I don't know if it's funny. Maybe it's sad. Maybe it's sad. Why is Jay yeah. drinking so much beer on stream? Is he an alcoholic? Yeah. The... At least the first few months on stream, I don't think I had a single drink. I'd gone about a year without drinking a thing. It was... It's still have. In fact, I'm having more issues with, again, may lead to a big cutback on coffee and beer. Some sort of reflux issues. Mysterious reflux-like issues. I ended up having a bunch of tests and procedures, and it is, it isn't okay. reflux. Uh, nobody can make up their minds. Anyways... Um, I hadn't drunk anything for about a year, and it was encouragement. It was peer pressure. That's what I'm trying to say. It was peer pressure. I love beer. I, I do like to drink. I just don't uh, have a history of drinking as much as I have recently on stream. I tend to drink for a while and then not drink for a while. Drink for a while and then not drink for a while. But since I had a few beers on stream, after some encouragement, 
I think the Citadel party in a Mass Effect 3 playthrough was the was the first time. Streaming drives you to drink. Confirmed. It's it's easy to say, hey, I'm I'm able to do this, so why not? I enjoy that. I can do that. I'm allowed to do that. I'll do that. It does it doesn't make it the best choice? Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Sometimes you go years without it, Wombat. It's kind of your your history as well. Do I need to put oil in the lantern? I can't see it there. No fuel. Add oil. Hey, monkey. Ah, uh, didn't see your question about Far Cry. Yeah, I have not played any of them. I've seen a little bit of three and four played. I killed this guy yesterday. He seems to have respawned. Get off my healers, dude. Get off my healers. I'm trying. Right, I'm climbing up on this guy. some sort of unlimited stamina buff. He just kicked me! Move! She's out of breath again. She won't move. She's gonna fucking die. What's up? What's up? What's? I cannot move. Neither can I. I can't move. I can't even get you up. I'm out of breath. Stamina is a serious problem for me. Very frustrating running out of stamina five times in one fight, or six, seven, eight times in one fight. Climb. In the head! Here it is, go. Take care when scaling its back. It's running off with Jundin. I'm just being eaten. I'm getting swung around like crazy. Let me off this train! And it's getting his face chewed off again. Oh, it's gone. My consciousness fades. Okay, John, we'll get you up. saved either. The auto save in this game is terrible. If it has one weakness, um, well it has 
every game has weaknesses, but the autosave is awful. You might get autosaves when you go into a dungeon, fight 30 minutes in a dungeon without a single autosave triggering. This must do something. I don't like this. Lighting these lamps could be of use. Watch the ground below you. My strength nails me. Uh, you all did get cursed. I didn't get cursed, though. I backed off. I wonder if that glow indicated a curse. I'll go with Rage Mage on this one. Let's be perfectly clear about that. Men are just as crazy. Going the wrong way. This is this was the way. Map check. This sucks. Um, damn. Wait, is the quest done? Maybe the quest is done. Maybe the quest is done. Down here. Clever. Completion I got. I thought it was a kill quest. Yeah. Worm hunt. Salvation is holding a clandestine meeting in the crypts. Delve into the underground and investigate. That's our mission. Um. Completion to the rest of the map, though. Down here. Confused. Oh yeah. A lever arisen. Yes, that lever down. Okay, we're back on track. I just need to save more. Careful! Careful! And crumbles here and there with age. What's more? My extremely vague and uh, preliminary warning. Chat. Your side. Be ready, it comes. Ever it was the city. I've learned a new way to fight here. any damage compared to what we were doing before. Is it the buff? We're not buffed right now. That must be it. Everything here is so sensitive to fire. Crazy how wisp like they are. It seems so right that they are this hard to hit. You shouldn't be able to hit a wisp with an arrow, anyways. Get a 
save. Not yet. no auto saves during any of those battles we don't get any auto saves if you don't save your game you can get rolled back so hard all right we are more than halfway back to the whirling John Dead. We have triumphed. Anytime. No, uh, what's well, they're they're just responding to one of the very few channel rules that I have. I really don't have a lot of rules. Uh, no politics, no religion, no jerks. It's really simple. We're not here to, uh, it's not that I don't want people to care about the world. It's not that I don't. It, it's not about trying to shut that down. It's about where it goes. We start having those kinds of discussions and we start drawing lines between each other. The next thing you know, we're going like this instead of hanging out playing games. It goes from zero to fuck you really fast when you're talking politics and religion. It makes people uncomfortable. Um, it's not about being politically correct. It's not about censoring. It's not about not caring about those things. It's about why we're here, what we're here to do, and the kind of bullshit that those conversations tend to introduce. So, uh, you know, every, everyone's got their own feelings and opinions on those matters, and some of them are very strong. But we have a unique common ground here. We're all here because of games to hang out and have a good time. What place does that other stuff really have in it? A lot of the games we play discuss topics, politics and religion, and um, and it's always interesting when they do. But when we start talking real-world politics and religion, things get messy really fast. Next thing you know, people aren't having that much fun. To be the man! You gotta beat the man! Hey, Tricky Scricky. Thank you. Cheers. Hello! S7, what's up, man? Welcome! Wrong way. I was already going the right way. Aye, why are you opening graves for? You're gonna get cursed. Stop. Follow me. Coming. I'll go at once. Very well. So let's try going south and east, and if that doesn't work, we'll go to the north and east. Exactly. Uh, a lot of people are coming here to escape. Me too, to some extent. And I, and I want that to uh, work. I want that to work for people. <laughs> well, that sort of worked. I didn't. I didn't realize I was setting off explosives. Tough too. Just rampage indiscriminately, they're tough. She burn him out of the air? I knocked him into the air with a strong, uh, with, with a mighty, mighty draw. 
She burned him in the air. Wait, head check. Are we missing Zersha? What happened to Zersha? There she is. Zersha, what are you doing? Creepy today. Yeah, if there, exactly, Wombat, if there was some way to ensure that we would have rational debates in this world, it would be a whole different story. But I think most people know that's not how it turns out, so. You aim for the back, it's coming at me from the front. So are you saying you had a day, a day I had, believe you won't. What, uh, what wouldn't we believe? What kind of a day have you had, man? I've, all things said and done, I've got nothing to complain about. I've had a weird day too, but nothing, nothing to explain it. Just, just weird up here. It's snowing in Northern Virginia and people are losing their minds. I, um, Northern Virginia, but one time I was going camping with some friends. Try and go this way. I was going camping with some friends in West Virginia, living in Maryland at the time. And it was upper 60s when we left Maryland and we went into the Monongahela National Forest. Does that sound right? West Virginia. Um, anyways. It, <laughs> that's where we were. Does that sound right? Monongahela. I, I think I might even be confusing two different trips. It's the West Virginia trip, the one with the snow. No, I'm confusing two different trips. Anyways, that didn't that didn't work out too well. I'm trying to remember that. Where are we? Shall we? Anyways, we had a car crash in. The snow that uh, it, is why you made me think of it. Shenandoah? It could have been Shenandoah. I'm thinking of two different trips. I mixed them. We basically, we left Maryland on a warm day uh, to, to go camping. And my friend who looked, uh, she looks a lot like a female Bob Marley. About as, uh, not terribly tall. She's about as tall as our healers here. But she looks like Bob Marley. If you can picture the dreadlocks. Um... Just take Bob Marley, turn him into a woman, lose a couple feet, and that was my friend. She's awesome, by the way. She's totally awesome. But it started snowing, and we were driving through the National Forest, and maybe... So this wasn't West Virginia. This was just Virginia. Well, I'm trying to piece this back together. I'd have to look at some maps and think about it. Shenandoah r was familiar, but I don't, I'm not sure that was it. At any rate, we were, we were driving. It started snowing. The next thing you know, there was a whiteout. We're in a Volvo. We're in a Volvo wagon. And uh, my friend, she panics. And she pulls the emergency brake. We're driving in a whiteout. And she pulls the emergency brake. So, I love her. Don't get me wrong. But don't ever pull your emergency brake while you're driving down the road. Especially if you're losing traction. Never. Never ever. Mystery, how are you? Yeah, don't do that. Don't pull your emergency brake. So, uh, anyways, we spun off the road and crashed into a tree. And we ended up camping there because we didn't... This was... Do we have cell phones? I don't know if we had cell phones. We probably had beepers. If anybody had a cell phone, I don't remember. But we certainly weren't able to call anyone. There was no one to call. There was no one driving by. It was an unexpected snowstorm after we had left for this camping trip in warm weather. So we ended up just walking off a couple hundred yards into the woods, pitching a tent. This is why I don't drink uh, cream liqueurs, because we drank a lot of Kahlua and vodka that night. And I got really sick.
Everything wasn't going to be alright. Everything's going to be straight fucked. Everything's going to be straight fucked. Yeah, it was sort of like that. I need to pay attention here. Greg likes to do that? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! I jump on his arm right when he starts swinging it. Ow. Hey. Hey, what did you do to my Zersha? Oh no, I'm the one being picked up! I think they call this... Shit. I don't know whether they call this one a troll or an ogre. They fought quite a few Cyclops, but this is not the Cyclops. What does he look like to you? Yeah, the crash we had was kind of interesting. We went off the road, and so we were suspended at about a 45 degree angle. We went into a tree. Not, not a bad accident. The car didn't even wreck. It was a Volvo wagon. Probably took a small amount of damage to the front, but we spun out, went off the road, and ended up hitting a tree that wasn't very far off the road, and we were at such a steep angle, we kind of had to climb up out of the car in the snow. Looked really cool. It was terrible. Placement, timing. Let's have a look. So what I confused it with was a West Virginia camping trip where, um, no, it had nothing to do with snow. I don't know why I mixed those two, but, um, couple friends, one of them who now lives in Colorado here, in Denver. We camped alongside a river in West Virginia, and the little general store we went to, this is proper West Virginia, a little general store we went to, and we went to get some bacon, because you gotta have bacon when you're camping. They had like 20 different types of pork products. Every type of the pig that you know had been slaughtered out back earlier that day was for sale. So the counter just had, I mean, parts of a pig I didn't know existed were for sale there. City. Hi, Pete. Welcome, everyone. Procyon. Cheers, all. I'm missing a lot of people coming into chat. I hope everyone's having a good day. I almost didn't stream today, and I'm glad I did. It's good to see you all. You have to have bacon when you're camping. It, it's, it is a rule, right? Everybody knows that rule. You run faster with a knife, and you have to have bacon when you're camping. Those are the rules. <laughs> you can hear people's blood pressure rising. Hmm. Hey, Jim. Did you wipe out doing that in the snow on your 17th birthday? Or when you were 17? Hmm. What's that? RZD, you got to your first dragon? Good luck. You haven't died already. Good luck. Message coming in. Spider, thanks for the host, man. I think we're almost there. Wherever there is, I think we're almost there. You can hear the cult. Look at 
Get some buffs or heals. Um, oh no, don't even say it. Anyone seen Zersha? Anyone seen Zersha? Zersha! What have you done? What's she doing? Zersha become another Ramona? Zersha, come! Just a moment. What do you mean, just a moment? Zersha? We need to have a talk. That's awful Blair Witch of you. She's just standing in the corner. She's just staring at the corner. Come on. Come on now. Zersha? Alright. One of the cool things about this game, when your companions won't listen to you, Sorry, Zersha. You forced this. We're going this way. Everybody else with me? We are close. She's probably screaming. You can't hear her, but she's going, I don't want to go! Seems it won't budge. Let's move on. Hold on. She just gave me the finger. I'm pretty sure she just gave me the finger. I put her down because I was out of breath, and she did a whole little... Check out that lip sync. Or as the escape. No, no. Take care not to step I, I, on any stray bones. Do not run. Do not run. Come to join our flock, Arisen. <laughs> The answer, dear, are risen! Unto all things death and chaos! <laughs> Bruce Sion, another of the great lines was, It's mad with rage! I like that one. Is that Joe Pesci? What am I, a clown to you? Am I funny? Do I amuse you? <laughs> it's mad with rage. Yeah. Glimsella. Glimsella. Would this game be a good investment before Dark Souls 3? You'd be annoyed with the combat system. Um, do you mean you're looking for... You're waiting for Dark Souls. Are you wondering if this plays like Dark Souls? It plays more like Kingdoms of Amalur. If you've ever played Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. It's sort of a weird Amalur, Dark Souls, Skyrim kind of hybrid. This is my first playthrough. It's taken me more than 20 hours to, to get a feel for the game. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's pretty deep as a... Mechanically, it's pretty deep. Story-wise, I don't know if it's really that deep. 
or he seems serviceable. The party system is cool, the combat is great, the loot is good, the skills are good. Combat's a lot of fun. Uh, not quite as tactical as Dark Souls. Not quite as simplistic as Amalur. But it has a real quick feel to it, the way Amalur does. I don't know if you ever played I'll that, though. That. Elusive Man, why are you sad? This? What connection does this knight's champion have to salvation? It is a mystery. Girl troubles. Those have a long history of getting people down. Considering it's not a $60 purchase, it's closer to 30 depending on where you get it. Definitely think it's worth it. You'll easily get 30 hours out of it if you play it. You'll probably get twice that. But at least we snared this one. An Umbla prize, to be sure. But at least he's talkative. No honor among thieves, eh? It was just a lark. All in good fun. I, I never gave over to that rot about destruction and salvation. Never. Just the same. It'd be trouble if we let him go free. Now that he's seen the two of us together. Wait! You, you promised me! It's all yours. What to do in this quest. It's not my place to question judgment. But I, I see. Decide the leader's fate. Come, sir. What's to be gained from bloody your hands? Know that we shall follow whatever you decide. Guess this is an important moment. I assume the decision is to kill him or not kill him. It hasn't been made incredibly clear. Chronicle. That's not about the current situation, though. Did I miss something? Rummy Wombat, you would never date... You would never date girls? And, and I realize that there's context for this. You would never date... Maybe I missed something. It's not my place. All right. I want to talk to that guy. Did he already? Did he just shrivel up and die? There's a test of your resolve. Know that we shall follow. So the quest is done. The quest is done. It's not my place to question your judgment. Ah, see, I thought it was something like that. And yet, then when I read it, it didn't make enough sense. It's your choice to make, or is it? How are you doing, Koala? It's kind of just like that. Oddly enough, the weird conversations tonight that's the subject of today's stream chat apparently it is, it is a test of your resolve. i think it was already kind of going there but elusive man came in having uh, having some girl troubles and the conversation was was rekindled in that direction what was that just as done what was that because I walked Spending away. His life will win you no thanks, least of all from him. Aye, he'll be around to stay your tongue presently. So I, I walked away. That guy lived. That's not him on the ground. For my work, friend. Confused. I'll not have your conscience round my neck for a noose. 
Our partnership ends here. So Mason, who's not actually in the room with us right now, is giving me shit for not killing I'll take that. the leader of the cult, who I didn't really decide not to kill, but merely walked 12 feet away from. Apparently that was the decision. Maybe for the best. Knowing such a man would have only led to trouble. Ostrius, how are you? You also have a female main character? I like to make... It's not universal. I think at this point I prefer making female characters in RPGs and some other games. It sort of depends on the game. Uh, it definitely has something to do with appearance. It's not just appearance. Voice, demeanor... The, the way other characters in the world respond. One of my first, well, my literal first experience of playing a female character in games by choice, not because I was playing a game where, like Tomb Raider, where you simply are a female character, Lara Croft, Star Wars Galaxies. Um, when I started playing that in 03, my first character was Jundan. And after a few months when I realized I was completely hooked on the game, I was going to keep playing it, and I wanted more characters, I decided to try a little role-playing. And I made Jundin a sister. I made Jalia. Jundin had a sister. And one of the interesting things was how everybody responded to Jalia compared to Jundin. Now, some people knew that they were both being played by the same character, same person. But... So many reasons for this, but the way Jalia was treated was completely different by everyone, including the people who knew that the same person was playing both characters. Ponder that for a moment. Avatars are important. They are how how we present ourselves, how we represent ourselves. Always matters. It always makes a difference. I'm rambling, but appearance is only part of it. Characters were unvoiced in Galaxy, so voice wasn't a factor then. You look at something like Mass Effect, and at least a large part of the reason I play female Shepherds in Mass Effect is Jennifer Hale. She's absolutely fantastic. I could listen to her voice day and night. Combat in this game is very satisfying. I'd say the combat in this game is more satisfying than As Skyrim combat is really not that satisfying. I know some people disagree. I love Skyrim, hundreds of hours. Cross platforms. 
But in Skyrim, I don't think the combat is the strength. Hey, arms. What is the massacre? That's something in game I didn't see. <laughs> Elusive man. And Tropic J is lonely too. That's why he always makes female characters in RPGs. I feel you, Jay. I don't know. I could be part of it. Part of it. I definitely uh, have attachments to the characters that I make. It tends to be that when I make a female character in a game, if it if it works out well, I do have I do have some extra attachment to it. Did I have a crush on Jalia in Star Wars Galaxies? Yeah. Did I have a crush on Jundin? No. But um, in fact, I was disappointed when the game got. It's hard to call it a graphical update. But at one point, Galaxies got something of a graphical update, a small one. And it changed the way a lot of characters looked. And it did some things to, to Jalia that kind of upset me. The road splits here. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. Yeah, I don't play Wombat. Uh, Wombat, I don't play Melee too often in Skyrim either. I would do Sneaky Archer. Probably talked about it, but Nightingale set. I like the Nightingale set and playing a Sneaky Archer. Wait, am I trying to report back to Maximilian? I am. Why am I doing that on foot? We can go right back to Maximilian. Almost right back. Well, I was showing you yesterday, Remy, that's part of why uh, Age of Conan was neat. Age of Conan was an M-rated MMO that had um, that had built-in nudity. I mean, are there any other MMOs besides Age of Conan, relatively mainstream MMOs, that actually have... Did it, did it have full frontal nudity? I don't remember. I think it might have just had chest bearing nudity but it was really cool and it was it was a gorgeous game so yeah of course i ran around topless i ran around topless as long as i possibly could but damn it i gotta put some armor on there's no way i'm gonna survive if i don't put armor on so i guess witcher was not the first time i ran around in an rpg topless hey black man how you doing Are there any other MMOs that have ghost sex in them? And that wasn't even really ghost sex. That was just, that was one of my healers. Just, uh... Can you picture a, cler a topless cleric summoning a, uh, a, a healer entity, a healer spirit? She goes like this. She goes, uh... Heals. You gotta take advantage of that. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Sixty skulls. Well, what? I just put my lantern. Hey. Sneaky daggers. Oh man, one hit backstabbing in Skyrim was pretty hot. Get it to that point. Polar armor. What will it be today? Lantern back. What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. Come again soon. Here we can rest. Manage inventory and skills and so on. You don't take advantage of your healer. Do you mean here? Koala? I have two healers right now. I've got uh, Suki. Well, you're standing in a fountain and you're four feet tall. Of course you're drenched. I'm sorry, Suki. I love you, but that was really stupid. 
Out of the fountain. Coming. I'm on my way. Who among you is uh, what did you mean by don't take advantage of the healer, Koala? I know I can call for buffs or heals, but they're so... It just seems random. Which buff do I get? Do I get a heal? I'm not really trying to micromanage the party because there's so little micromanagement you can actually do. Healers are important. You should treat them with respect. Absolutely. That's why I only pick up one of my healers and carry them around when they refuse to follow the party. Oh, and I want to make a point of it. Zersha would not follow us through the last dungeon. And I had to pick her up and carry her to get her to follow us through the dungeon. It was interesting. Gundan, on the other hand, he's just fun to throw around. Oh, don't arrest. Fuck. Your fate. I just got arrested for that. Being thrown in jail. It's going to cost me 5,000 credits because I threw Jundan at Sir Maximilian. Everyone, on your... <sighs> My, uh... <laughs> With respect, like your iPad or car. I... My very first iPad. My first generation iPad. I was in, um... I was in New York visiting family... And my younger sister, I have two younger sisters, but um, the younger of my younger sisters, who I guess really doesn't like spiders and has uh, maybe not the best impulse control in the world, she was holding my iPad, flipping through pictures, and I had a close-up picture of a spider from something. Anyways, she scrolls through, she gets to the picture of the spider, and she goes, ah! And she throws the iPad like a frisbee. Just wings it across the room. But those uh, first-generation iPad cases were so bulky, they basically had a quarter inch of rubber projecting from every edge, and it survived. Yeah, Wolf, I think uh, five-ish, maybe five oh, times. No, Roughly five times. I'm glad 5K is the cap. You get slap-happy with throwing companions, and boom! Next thing you know, boom! Oh, don't puke on me! What was that? Try that again. What, you wanna go? Wanna go? Go. Oh! <laughs> And we're already back in jail. <laughs> Use your told in a bit of coin by your freedom. Of no lover crowds and less still of unwanted chatter. <laughs> Pray, move it. <laughs> Did you see John? Did he just... You there? Done on that. At least Jundin had the sense to dodge. Hmm.
<clears throat> I need a little break here in a minute. We've been going about two hours. I don't know how long I'm going tonight, but shorter stream is the plan. I'm not planning on going a normal six. Tomorrow is scheduled to be eight. Uh, Thursday, right? Hey, it's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. See, this is why I didn't, almost didn't stream today. My brain is not working today. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I know it's not all done, but... Anyway, let me take a little break after we talk to Sir Maximilian here. Gatherings of salvation did have sinister purpose. We'll go a few more hours today. Hmm. It is a grave shame the Elysian slipped our snare. We shall redouble our vigilance here to keep the city safe. You need more than one day off a week. This is uh, this is possible. I will go back to a two day off a week like a schedule at Solomon. some point. Pray be wary, arisen. For now, I leave you with my thanks. No, I hear you, and and I'm aware that one day off a week only works when there isn't too much to do. As soon as things reach a certain threshold, one day off a week isn't really enough to get everything I want to and have planned done. Take a quick break. I'll be back. I'm feeling really good about coming on tonight. It's been a weird day. I'm definitely not not all here today, but I'm very glad to be here with you. I hope you're glad to be here with me and each other, and I'll see you all in a few minutes. Cheers, everyone. How about...